Uh, so since uh, starting my little business, my BBG guitar builds, custom guitar builds, I have been commissioned to do a few guitars, which is great. And I've sold uh, most of my stock already. Um, so next build, <coughs> excuse me, I've been asked to make a guitar out of this using the neck of this and tuners using the electrics out of this. Let's get on with it. So like before, I'm going to use the body as the main part of the structure. Um, it's quite... Let me get this bit off because I don't need that there. It might cause problems. Okay, so this is slightly awkward, this one, because the neck needs to come out of here, and it's not square, and the customer wants it centre. Um, so... It might look a bit odd, but I, I will worry about aesthetics later, and we'll just get this in there and the neck pocket cut out etc same as the last video really uh, you can watch it uh, here here wherever it goes and um, it's in the description too right so I've cut the guitar body down it might need a little more off um, but we'll see how it goes I'm gonna cut the uh, the tin uh, cut the neck pocket out Sorry, I'm going to cut the hole in the tin for the net pocket. Speak English, Brent. Um, and then see how we go from there. Okay, we're going to knock this piece off because it's it's going to sit in the way, but we shouldn't need it. So, I'm just going to whack him out of there. Like so. so, it's all in. Um, just put a screw in here to hold it steady. And the lid goes on. Lovely. Um, like so. The neck should come to there, which is okay. But unfortunately, as I suspected, you can see because of the shape of the tin, I don't know if you can see this, there's a gaping hole here. Um, but I'll think of something later. Right, so we're using the electrics out of this. We've got a, a Warman. Mini humbucker here, and it's coil tappable with the volume and tone, so nice and simple. And it's already wired up and worked, so I just need to transfer it from here to there. Uh, Got to get the strings off first, but I will use these strings in the initial setup, and then I can put a fresh set of strings on <coughs> when we're all done. So we've got the neck on. Measure from the nut, twenty-five point five inches. Brings us to the edge here of the, the oven. 
and the saddle where the string is going to be roughly will be there so it's going to be about there for the bridge pickup is going to be here or could it be there mm, I don't know we'll see we'll get the bridge on first and then I'll ask the customer what he wants me to do all right so I'll put the toppy and the bottomy on and this will help me line up the bridge so it's all in line with the neck I reckon about there excuse my head in the way uh, so I'm just going to make a pencil mark And all I'm going to do is just fix them first two screws down for now and make sure we're all good. So I'm going to get my brush and we'll get a bit, two mil bit. Put on those pencil marks. do is I'm going to check uh, just by ear it's a little sharp um, but I've got it in the right place that we can intonate properly. Should be the right place. Yeah, I think so. I think that's gonna be okay there. Okay, so bridge is in position, uh, just marking out where the humbuck is going to go. I think we're going to go about there, if you can see that. So you still get to see uh, most of the door and the barbecue scene and everything there. Uh, I can't really take it much more forward than that because of the shape of the tin. I'm just waiting for the customer to get back to me to okay it, and then I'll cut it out. Alright, it's the next day. I'm back. All right, it's the next day, I'm back, and I'm going to get this up and running quickly before I have to go to a funeral. Um, so I need to router out uh, a bit there, and I need to router out this here for the jack socket, it's for the tone pot to go there, volume pot to go there. I'm going to put the lid down. And I'm just going to use the uh, Dremel tool with the sanding bit. Uh, which should chew straight through that. So unfortunately, <laughs> the bridge screws are going straight into the gap there, which is really a shame. Um, so all I need to do is glue a piece of wood into there so we can get a, a good fix. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got this old piece of wood here which is just about the right size and that's going to be snug so I'm going to tap and glue that into there 
Um, this is right. bits out to get the pick up in. Uh, so I'm going to take the lid off. Take the lid off, which means I need to remove that, cut that out and offer it up. figure out where the knobs and stuff are going to go um, obviously this is how it looks right now um, I'm thinking you could be quirky and put them like this but I'm not sure whether that's okay or just have them kind of Um, yeah, so it's, I need to consult the client again and see where he wants those because there's a switch as well in between. There's a switch in between. Um, yeah, we'll see. electric it's very simple we just got a volume and tone jack socket and a coil tap three-way switch two-way switch sorry not three-way 
I marked the uh, volume with a blue pen before, so I know that's the volume that's just going to go in there. Um, and the tone is going to go all over here. And the call tap is going to go over here as well, so I need to extend the wiring to make all that work. The first job is there's two wires, there's this wire here. Um, and this wire here, which connects to the switch, actually three wires, and this wire here. So the white one, which goes to the uh, that nipple there, the black one just goes to the pot there, and this one goes to the pot there. So it should be pretty easy to do that. And then I'll be able to take the switch all the way over to here. And on the tone, I just have to extend the one wire there which is split to that nipple, the same nipple as the white one well, it's not, it's the middle nipple, sorry and onto the pot Hey, change of clothes, bad hair, it's another day <laughs> uh, coming to the end of the build, i uh, got the electrics in and I just want to raise the height of the neck slightly and then I can get to onto intonating and getting it finished so I'll show you how the electrics are working out so we've got the jack socket back here just above the number plate I thought was a nice touch in between the lights. Uh, we have our toggle switch, tone on that wheel, volume on that wheel, and there's our pickup. Okay, so I need to make a shim. Um, this is sort of half order. I need double this. So two of these would have been great. Or this and what I normally use is a neck plate on there, but I don't have any spare neck plates left. I'm just hunting around. So I don't think I have any. Um, so what I could do is take the old scratch plate and I could make a spacer is more more the more the word I'm looking for out of that. And see if that will bring up the height enough. Or I could get a piece of wood if I could find anything that I could use, but I can't seem to find anything that I could use. Uh, but we'll see if this works. So I, th I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw around that like that. I'm going to cut that out of the Dremel tool, make it pretty. And we're going to screw that onto there, that onto there, metal plate over there, and that should bring our height where I need it. So yes. I'm going to do that. Okay, shims, spacers, whatever you're going to call them, are made. Uh, before I put this back together, I want to do something with this edge here and this edge here. So I want to sand that down. And really, I should paint that white. But at the very least, make it smooth. Right, this side I'm going to get the Dremel on uh, with me sandy bit. I'll do 
like this, I'm going to wear a mask because it's going to be dusty. Um, and the door is always open because it's just a shed. Fantastic. And the rest I shall do by hand. <clears throat> oh, that's a bit better. I mean, these guitars aren't meant to look brand new. They are uh, made using <laughs> secondhand parts, upcycled guitars, and secondhand biscuit tin, whatever. So it's never going to look brand new. But, you know, a little bit of pride. And what we're doing here goes a long way in my book so we'll make it them make them the best we can so now on with the neck i'm going to put the um, spaces on like this which will give me like a, a apply effect i suppose with the spaces as well which will match the um, um the actual ply of the uh, neck pocket, so to speak. Uh, still got our strings attached <laughs> on our bridge here. Uh, where's my cloffy cloth 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 cloth? There we go. Uh, I'm just going to work my line the old holes up. Like so. So I will leave it up to the client to tell me if he wants that painted or he could maybe do it himself. I don't know, it's up to him really. Uh, yeah, I mean you could use a piece of wood for the shim there. But the whole idea is we're, we're upcycling and using parts that we've already got. So it probably wouldn't be that hard to make a wooden shim but if you wanted to argue uh, sustain and things. I haven't had a problem using plastic shims before, but whatever. Let's get all this screwed in, and then we'll do a setup and a cleanup. Before I go any further, I just want to check. And our pickup is still working. And I'll be knocking out. Yeah. Very nice. Still working. Good stuff. Right. Let's get all this uh, schmoodled. Got it all together and it all lines up beautifully. I'm very happy with that, um, except the nut, which I didn't realize before, if you can see, is really low. Uh, so I need to take that off and shim that up. Because it is buzzing, baby. But when you fret it, it's not. Um, another way to test these nuts, if you don't know, the nut height, if you hold it down about the third fret, you should have a little bit of relief. There's nothing, the string is flat against the the fret. So this needs to come up maybe two mil, I think. It's quite low. So I'm going to do that. It came out with no trouble at all. It was loose anyway. Um, so what I'll probably do is just glue a matchstick to the bottom of that and then sand it to the right height. 
I'll show you what I mean. So, just get a little bit of super glue. And I'm just going to dab a bit on there. Oop, too much. There it is. And then glue the matchstick onto the bottom. Yeah, as straight as possible. Oop. Try not to glue your blooming fingers together, Brent. That normally happens. Bit of pressure. You'll find a lot, a lot of the time, the matchstick's exactly the same size width as the um, nut, which is really cool. I'm just going to plonk that down and let that go off. Right, it's gone off, so we'll just cut the end off with a blade, like so. Better if you've got a sharp blade, unlike me. Um, then I want to get some 80 grit. And I'm just going to sand edges. So if there's any overlap, there's a little bit. It's just going to bring it flush. So, lovely job there. And then, I don't think you can see, let me just tilt you slightly without dropping you on the floor. Uh, there we go, neck end. Just going to stick it in there and see where we are height wise. If you're very lucky, that will be it. Um, it's probably not going to be. It's almost like this nut doesn't fit the slot very well anyway. No, that's way high now. So, we need to take about half of that down. Um, which is okay. Get a pencil, preferably a sharp one, unlike I've got. Mark about half that there. Make a pencil line across there. I should give you a guide. And then sand away on a flat surface or on a block or whatever. My bench is obviously flat, so even pressure. And try and keep it straight so you don't get a slant on it. Sand down quite easy. So. I use the same method when um, raising the height of uh, acoustic guitar bridges and things. You don't need a lot of pressure because it's the matchstick's only soft. Just keep checking it, make sure that it's straight. Like there. And then pop her back in. Boing, 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 boing. Strings and the right sorts. Uh, just want to put a little tension on that bottomy, so it's not buzzing anymore. Third fret, and there's a tiny bit of relief on there. It's about two mil, like I said. Uh, we could come down maybe a little more, um, but I think.
think no i think that's about right we're gonna go with that uh before i um uh string it up again i'm just gonna glue that in because it is quite loose in there um it looks like it's a replacement it doesn't quite it's not quite wide enough for the slot but i'll just put a dab of glue on the actual you need a couple of spots really i went for three how about that <laughs> do you want to get it all over your fingers It's all level with the sides. Oh, it's gripping already. There we go. And there you are. That should be fine. Uh, halfway through the setup, um, and this neck has some issues, man. I'll uh, I'll show you. Uh, especially on the G. Yeah. I think there's various high frets. So I'm gonna have to go through and check all the frets and hopefully I don't have to do a whole fret level on it. Maybe it's just a couple, but can't really do much more until I do that. So the fir first one is there, which will mean that fret's high. Check it with the rocker. And then it's really high in the middle. All the way down. And kind of flattens out again as you get back to the E string. Very high in the middle. So, Sharpie. I seem to have lost my black Sharpie. And it's going to be from like there, all the way across there. It's levelling. Um. This one. Yep, that one. To the to about the D string. That's all right. Got two. That one there, which will be. Mm -hmm. Actually, so mm -hmm. why is that rattling? Well, it's there. It's there. Definitely those two. That one especially. So I'm going to get on and do that. You can check out the last video um, on the last uh, Ting Box guitar build, the white radio Strat Star. Um, I demonstrated how I do that. So if you want to check that out, up here, up here, wherever it goes, it's in the description as well. 
Uh, also, if you want to uh, watch the video on how to set up your guitar in minutes, I've got a, another video up here, up here somewhere, um, which demonstrates how you can set up all your action and everything else. I don't need to go through all that here. So, I'll see you when this is done. <laughs> Thank you.